Hi guys, it's Emily. I already started this video once, but then uh, somebody called me and I got a new job. So I'm so excited and I'm gonna be like really hyper for this whole video. But okay, let's go. Uh, I read nine books this month in August. I already showed you the four, first four of them in my last video. If you need a refresher, the first four books were Purplish and Scandal, Scandal, The Remarkable Life of Harriet Spencer, Sister of Georgiana, uh, which is by Janet Gleason. The next book was The Complete Father Brown series by G.K. Chesterton. The next book was The Book of Madness and Cures by Regina O. Melvinney. And the last book was Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Simple. But now I'm back to show you the last five books I read in May, which is crazy because when I made that last video, I thought I was only going to get two read. But, well, no, I, never mind. Okay, five, five books. Let's go. The first book I read in the second part of August was Wild, From Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail which is by Cheryl Strait. It's a memoir of her walking the Pacific Crest Hail Trail to deal with her feelings after her mother dies. Um, it also gives a little bit of her life right after her mother dies, and that was morally objectionable to me. Uh, she did a lot of hard drugs and sleeping around and cheating on her husband, and I don't know. I mean, it was okay, but I kind of lost respect for her after that, so this was not as compelling as I thought it might be, so I gave it three stars. The next book I read was The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. I've heard about this from so many booktubers and so many blogs, and I finally had to see what it was about for myself. It's about a bookseller on an island um, off of Massachusetts whose wife dies, and he's very depressed, and he is kind of bitter about the whole everything and then he meets two very special women and they both have an influence on his life and make him see the joy in it and it was good i only gave it three stars though i don't know it just wasn't like the first part was very interesting and then it sort of like slowed down a lot and it was still good though um i read it in about three days it was a quick read every chapter has a short story recommendation so, um, I'm going to write all those down and re read the ones I haven't read. And there's also a couple of quotes that I've marked that I plan to write down as well. So it does make you think, but I still only gave it three stars because it was just there, just there. Next book I read was Eleanor Roosevelt's You Live by Learning, or I mean, sorry, You Learn by Living. And it's 11 Keys for a More Fulfilling Life. And... This was a really, this was good, and had tons of good advice in it, but it just felt like too much. I mean, even though it's a short book, it's just like advice overload, and I found myself reading a chapter a day just to stop, to make space, to keep myself from feeling overwhelmed. I gave it three stars. Um, I like Eleanor Roosevelt, and I consider her one of my heroes, but this was not the book for me. But I definitely recommend it if you're looking for like advice or you know, looking for a feel-good book. The next book I read was American Transcendentalist, uh, Transcendentalism, A History by Philip F. Guerra. And this was something I had bought from eight books a long time ago, like probably at least two, two years ago, and I never read it, but I finally decided I needed to get it done. Um, it tells you the, like it says on the, Right, it's a history of the American transgenderism movement. I found this to be a rather slow book, and like the Eleanor Roosevelt book, I found myself having to force myself to read a chapter a day to get it done. So once again, only three stars. But I'm going to keep this book because I want to look at the book notes because there were a lot of good sources used in making this book. So I'm definitely going to be checking out some of those. The last book I read, which I finished this morning, was Sunshine on Scotland Street by Alexander McCall Smith. And this is like the seventh book, maybe eighth book, in the 44 Scotland Street series, which I love and I adore, and I've read all the books up to this one and now this one, and there's only one book left that I have not read. And 
Uh, I read this in two days. No, that's not true, like three or four days. But I felt like I tore through this book. It was so good. I had to get it in the large print edition because that's the only edition my library had. And like the last book in the series, they only have an audiobook, and I don't normally do, do audiobooks. But I might try it out just because I love the series so much, and I really want to read the last book. So that's all for now. Like I just said, I'm gonna get it. I'm getting a job, and I'm moving to this new job, so I might not get to read as much in September. But life changes, y'all. I'm so excited. So that's all for now. Um, nine books. I might show you. Um, never mind. Nine books. I hope y'all had a great August. Hope you had a, a lovely September and read lots of great books. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.